is chemical reactions. So a chemical bond happens between two atoms. So a chemical reaction happens because of electrons bonding or swapping between two atoms. So this bond occurs. So there's two types of chemical bonds. We have ionic bonds and covalent bonds. So the difference is with an ionic bond, you have one molecule coming along that has one electron on its outer ring. We have another molecule coming along that has five electrons on its outer ring. Now, the way atoms work is like swap and share their electrons. So this atom that has one electron on its outer ring sees this other atom that has five electrons on its outer ring and it says, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you my electrons so you can be more stable. When it gives this other atom its one electron, they bond, right? But this one has no electrons now in its outer ring and this one is full and they're both happy and they've created this bond. They are not sharing the electron. This one has given this other one its electron. That's an ionic bond. Then there's a covalent bond. So in a covalent bond, we have two atoms coming along and let's say they both have one electron in their outer ring. They're not going to be like, hey, I'm going to give you my electron because it just doesn't make sense. One is not more charged than the other. What they're going to do is they're going to share the electrons. They're going to be like, hey, let's be a little more stable. Let's share. So they're bonded, but they're sharing the electrons and the electrons cannot move independently. They're just, they're covalently bonded. So in a covalent bond, you have two atoms sharing an electron. In an ionic bond, you have one atom giving its electron to the other atom, and that is the difference. So in a covalent bond, electrons can be shared equally, and if they're shared equally, it's called nonpolar covalent. When electrons are shared unequally, they form polar covalence. Remember we talked about water being polar? It's because one will be higher charged than the other. So elements also have a charge. So typically metals have a negative charge. So metals gives another atom its electron. This occurs between cations and anions. So, so a chemical reaction occurs when chemical bonds, so those ionic or covalent bonds, are broken. And there's five types of these chemical reactions. So we have a synthesis reaction. This is when two or more elements come together to form a single compound. There's a decomposition reaction. So there's five types of chemical reactions. There's a synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. So in combustion, an organic compound combines with oxygen and produces carbon dioxide plus water. In a double replacement reaction, two elements switch places with each other. In a single replacement reaction, one element switches places with another element. In a decomposition reaction, a single compound decomposes into two or more elements or compounds and in a synthesis reaction, two or more elements come together to form a single compound. If you get my study guide, you can see on it. So if you get my study guide, it will show you the synthesis reaction, how it occurs with like compound one plus compound two equals this new compound AB. So like you can see it much better and it gives you examples. So that should be helpful too. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.